locks. It is your girl, Billy Buttercup, AKA Erin, or the girl with the locks, whatever you wanna call me. I am back with another video, excuse Kino. You can't be sneezing on camera. We, we are in times where they gonna take you out. Okay, all right. Anyways, we are back with another video. <clears throat> and today, I feel like I just wanna have conversations, give y'all updates on my hair, um, pretty much the ups, the downs, and all that good stuff. Um, it's like a midway lock update. I am on my way to two months, so that's exciting. Um, hopefully, I'm praying because the self-care maintenance of everything that's going on in this world right now has me a little bit concerned on how raggedy I'm going to be looking once this all clears up. Understand me when I say that. Because your girl, I get my nails done every two weeks. Sometimes I'll stretch it to three because my nail tech is really good. Her and her husband hook me up to where I don't have to go every two weeks. Which, you know, I'm cheap. So, hey, let's get it. I don't know if I'll have nails here soon. Okay? And the motivation to go back to that once i pop these off if it gets to that point oh lord it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard um my hair is the same thing you know i, I feel like with locks like it's a low maintenance hairstyle i i hate to say or hear when people say that it is no maintenance because that's a lie but <clears throat> it is um, very low maintenance. But for us newbies out there, the struggle is real because if you, like me, have went to a loctician from the start, he's going to hate me if it gets to the point, because my loctician is still doing hair. But if it gets to the point to where everything completely shuts down in my state, oh, Lord, oh, it's gonna be a mess. Like it's you know, okay, you know, save your little coin, you ain't gotta get your hair done, you know. But it was a struggle for him trying to find my parts when I did my first retwist, let alone if I missed the second one, honey, and the third look, listen, I don't even want to get started on that because that's a nightmare in itself, okay? I just ugh, I can't do it. I am taking it upon myself to not get depressed within these times because I feel like a lot of people are just so scared and all this, that, and a third. And we can have a whole different, you know, topic on why you should let none of this scare you. Um, because, you know, the Bible says so. You can read up on that. There is proof of facts as to that this was going to happen. Um, and just know that you're going to be protected. You, you look out for the most high and you will be fine. I promise you that. So don't let this stuff scare you. And we're going to try to keep to our daily programming as much as possible because I feel like that's all we can do. Um, just don't get depressed. <clears throat> as I had discussed in my last video for you guys to check that out, um, I actually, um, took my hair down. I think I had my style for about a week. Um, it, it's a two week style. If you can deal with it, it wasn't bothering me to a point to where I was just like, I just need to take it out. However, the back of my hair, um, anytime you have tension, I feel like it's more so on the back than the front. But if you have tension on the back of your hair, it will start to hurt. I had bumps. I had all of that. Some days were worse than others. Some days I didn't feel it at all because I think I had just got used to it. But then other days I was like, I don't know, this got to come down, which is the result of it coming down. So um, I ended up taking it out and it was tough. I took it out and before I went to go and get my retwist, my hair was very thick. So with it being thicker and full, I really like that because that's always kind of been my thing. Like, cause I have really thick full hair anyways. So when it was time for me to finally lock up, that was one thing I was very, very adamant about is just making my hair still look thick and full, even with me having locks. So I think that was gonna happen anyway, but um, it I wasn't prepared for it when I got my retwist. 
So when he retwisted my hair, he did it from the root down to the ends so that it was very um, uniform and make sure that all the hair did get locked into place. So when I took it out, I wasn't prepared for it to be thin. So I took my hair down and I looked in the mirror for probably a good 20 minutes, no lie, 20 minutes, because I was so, I didn't hate my hair, but it was definitely different. Cause again, I went from being very full to thinner. So that was an adjustment, but it only took me a day. Cause the next day I woke up and this is kind of the style I've been rocking. I will take it down for you guys to see, um, just to kind of show you guys too, where my hair even is um, outside of this because I think it looks really good. Um, this is the video where I told y'all, you know, we was gonna have the ups and the downs and some days you was gonna love it and the other days she was gonna not. So um, this is what it looks like down. And I, I like it. I mean, it's definitely full. Um, the day after, I should have filmed what it looked like because it didn't look like this at all. I think it's it's a lot. Um, it's back to kind of what I was used to, but not as frizzy um, because those were comb coils. And now I feel like my hair is really taken in a place of it being in a locking stage. So <clears throat> I appreciate where it's at. One thing I was surprised at was the growth. This pic, do you? Do you see this? This picture here, uh, first of all, I want y'all to understand that everybody's growth is gonna be different. I've seen people's hair um, shrink a lot after you know they got their locks. And even if it's been like a month or two, it still will shrink, 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 and then eventually fall. Mine fell very quickly. <clears throat> and I was not expecting that. I was like, okay, am I tripping or what? So don't take my hair and say, that's exactly what yours is gonna do because I have seen people's hair not do this at all. So um, my hair did drop and it's a lot longer than what it was. Um, my hair is also at the time, and I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see it, but at the time when I took that picture, it was very curled up because it was in a style for almost a week and a half. So I had a lot of locks that were like spirally and some that were like literally like pinned up because they were just so used to being conjoined a certain way that um, <clears throat> I don't know if that is causing it to drop the way it did or what, I don't know. All I know is, is it gave me life. So I'm gonna let y'all see it back. So let me try to get my hood out the way. So you can see exactly what I mean. So the back of my hair is a lot longer than what it was starting out. And um, I just was not expecting that, but I think it gave me a little bit more motivation of like, you're doing this. Um, I've never had a thought of, I should take it out which is good. Um, I have seen people who's only had their dreads for maybe a year to three years and they're like taking them out, which I think is really crazy. But I have not had that thought yet. I think a lot of people do struggle <clears throat> with it being a first time thing because it's new. But for me, I'm loving it. Um, I do get dry scalp, even with oil. I don't know if I'm missing the spots. That's been a struggle for me. When I got my hairstyle, I'll say, that's when I started to notice my hair being really dry and just getting like dandruff out of nowhere <clears throat> and different things like that. So um, that's been weird. And that's kind of been off-putting to me in terms of if I want to get another style or not. I was told that if you get a style, it locks up quicker. So that's why I was so adamant about it. But before I got my style, my scalp was really, really good. And I felt like it was breathing a little bit more. But now I have been feeling that very, very itchy stage. Um, I, when he put, when he did my style, he ended up putting gel on the front. 
And right in here on this side, I've noticed just big clumps of dandruff just building up. And I don't like that. <laughs> so I don't know how I will feel going into my next retwist if I would get a style. I may or may not. I don't know. It's going to depend on how I feel. But I do like how they're coming out. I feel like they are definitely like becoming me. I'm going to cut this video. We ain't going to make it too long. But one thing I will say is that stay positive during this time. Do not let social media, <laughs> number one, social media, get to you and make it a scare tactic and scare you into thinking things that may not be happening. Um, just don't let that feed into you. Read, exercise, eat healthy. Don't be like me and buy two pounds of Reese eggs and almost eat the whole thing in a day. Don't be like me. Um, so with that being said, um, while you are quarantined in your house, I'm going to say it again because I got to plug myself. I got to plug me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss a beat. Um, I am definitely going to be giving more content for you guys and being very, very consistent. I'm really surprising myself because between this school and work, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so I definitely am being very, very consistent with um, making sure I touch base with you guys. And don't be afraid to let me know anything that you want to see. I'm very new to this and very open to catering towards different things that people would like to see. And if you have something that you have questions about, or you want me to do a Q and A, or just any content that you would like to see, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm all ears. I'm good with that. So anyways, I will catch y'all later. And yes, peace, love, chicken grease, or whatever they say. I'm out. Bye.